Yeah, hi there. These comments uh, are for uh, CK, and you completed uh, integrated speaking practice test number 16. I am Michael, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, your online TOEFL course. And you're also one of my students in the English language program at California State University, San Bernardino. So I'm going to go ahead and download your speaking and let's listen to it right now. Yeah, I think I might have some trouble with this. Okay, your audio is opening up more as a picture, not as an audio file, so I don't think I can do anything here. So again, it says in the uh, document, it says .m for a 1.5 megabytes. Let me try one more time. So save file. I think I got it. The listening lecture explains the... Yeah, here we go. Perfect. I got it. So let's see what you say. Formation of glaciers. According to... The listening lecture explains the formation of glaciers. According to the... Good. So it's very simple. Your topic statement in the beginning, but it does express the main points, I think, of the lecture. So you have a good start to your response. Speaker, there are several steps of making glaciers. Good. First of all, on the top of a mountain, there is snow which remains year-round. Yes. It can transform into ice. The new snow compresses the layer of a... Pre now, you have to say something like the snow has to accumulate, right? It has to pile up over several years before this transformation in ice takes place. So that's a key idea you didn't really mention, but you should mention that right in the beginning of your response. Previous snow, this causes recrystallization. Okay. The shape and size of grains is similar to sugar. Continuously, the grains become bigger and there is not enough air between the grains, That's right. which makes stronger density of snow. Two winters later, the snow becomes film, which is the middle stage between snow and glaciers. Yeah, between snow and you can say glacial ice or glacier. So that's a good definition. So instead of saying intermediate, which is what I said in the lecture, you're using middle. And I think that's a good synonym for the word. At this stage, it is about half as heavy as water. By the time, larger ice crystals get bigger and compress. By the time, larger ice crystals get bigger and compress the air pocket, so there is almost no air between them. Yes. This whole process takes over 100 years. Yes. Additionally, when snow gets too heavy, that it starts moving downhill because of the force of gravity. Right. You can just say the weight of the, uh, you can say eventually the weight of the glacier becomes so heavy that it begins moving downhill because of the forces of gravity, something along those lines. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the rubrics now, so I can give you a score here. So, I think overall you you had maybe some minor problems with topic development. For example, that one idea in the beginning, you have to say that the snow over a period of several years begins to accumulate because it's not melting and then eventually it begins compressing and turning into ice. So you had some minor either omissions or maybe misrepresented some information a little bit. Uh, for the most part, you have pretty good control of your language use, including vocabulary and grammar. Delivery, you struggle a little bit. Speaking is probably not your favorite thing, but I think you're getting better. You've made some improvements there. So uh, overall, I'm going to put you at about, I'm going to put you at 2.83 out of 4, 22 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now for the purposes of our class, so you have a uh, 2.83, which puts you at 95% on this assignment, right? Okay, anyway, thank you very much for completing this, and uh, 
Keep up the good work.